What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rono Williams back from our lead podcast. The greatest and the latest, the boldest and the coldest, aka Platinum with no features, aka like, share, and subscribe to the Isla. Got on my motherfucking dumb boy chain today, Cuban link, you know what I'm saying? And it's a fair, but a lot of shit, fake as shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't get, just side note before we get started. I don't care about shit like this. Like, I like wearing it, it it's, it's cool, but it's just like, I used to be one of them niggas that was materialistic. It's like, ah oh, man, I just had to have like, I, even if I didn't have the real shit, I had to wilt the part. This is just some shit I wear every now and then just for kicks. But what I really want to talk about, and this is a decision I have come to over a course of time. And I didn't think I was ever gonna do no shit like this, but I really get the feeling uh, this is just a kind of a maybe, maybe not, but it's a pretty on a strength of like on on a scale of one to ten, I'm at a seven with it right now getting a bisectomy now in the logical reality sense of life and how shit actually works you know what I'm saying it would make sense for a man that didn't want to have, to have no kids to get a bisectomy you know what I'm saying I don't I'm not sure why more guys wouldn't go with, through with it but I think niggas just don't want to go up under like a surgery night I'm at a point with it, well, I'm, I'm about willing to do it. I'm really, I'm really kind of one foot on, one foot off, but the other foot's coming off. Like I'm about to step over to the other side. Reason being, and this has been going on for a long motherfucking time. God damn it! But every time I kick it with a chick, whether I wear a condom or not, which 90% of the time I do, you know what I'm saying? At least 90, if not 95, I say almost 100% of the time, you know, I wear condoms and shit when I do fuck around and shit, right? She gets to talking like, oh, my stomach hurt, and I feel like I, and you know, this has been, you know, time has passed since we first seen each other. So, like, well, my stomach hurts, and, and I feel like I'm gaining weight, and I don't know, I haven't been feeling like myself, and. Nigga, I have PTSD from pregnancy. Because I've been through a lot behind a baby mama. Now, my baby mama ain't the worst person in the world. But she certainly hasn't been the best person to me either. You know what I'm saying? I've gone through all types of bullshit behind this motherfucker. I done fought every nigga in about Southeast Georgia. I done probably about had it out with like eight or nine niggas behind this motherfucker total. You know what I'm saying? Just, I'm talking about like words over the internet and we thinking we about to meet up and just dumb shit. And I kept, and I think to myself over a course of period, and I think this might be like a series, like a, you know, like a two or three parter. I get the feeling. But, you know, we're gonna just do this for now. But anyway, over the course of that time, I think to myself, if I'd have never got this motherfucker pregnant, trying to be married and be a real man like every like society tells niggas to do and shit, I'm not gonna get on that high horse today. I wouldn't be in half this shit. Cause I mean, me personally, when it's just me, I don't have beef with people. You know what I'm saying? But ever since I've been fucking with this motherfucker, and like I said, I don't hate her, but it's at the same time, the spade, I'm gonna call a spade a spade. I mean, it's not like she got no money like that. Like, I had a vision from when I first started dating her. And I hate the, you know, there's like, oh, we gonna be something serious. Like, it's gonna work out, and it's gonna be this big thing. I don't care if you're broke right now. We'll help you get to the point. We'll keep, we're gonna get you from point A to point B. My daughter is... Eight, nine years old? She's eight. She'll be nine next year. I say eight, nine years old because she practically might as well be there. I'm at a point with it was like none of that shit actually came to fruition. Like it never happened. It was a lot of me working for myself before another person. And if you've ever done that, that is the most annoying shit in the world to try to work for, you know, someone else to try to benefit them so they can benefit you. And it did. It never worked. It didn't matter what I did. It didn't matter how what I put. Everything literally in, for, you know, in position for this person to make a better life for themselves, and they just, it just fell through the floor every time. And every time I got, I get mad at her or get upset, you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, I wish I'd have never got you fucking pregnant. Like, it's to the point why I have PSTD from pregnancy. I really do. Like, anytime a girl mentions anything about, oh, I think my period laid, and then I don't know. I mean, granted, for some reason, I managed to get out of it. But I'm getting to a point with it where I'm tired of having to go through that feeling itself. And these police are out today. I'm not even to speed. But 
I'm getting to a point with that feeling. Well, I'm tired of feeling that feeling of like motherfucking like, oh my God, I might be, I might have not done up. And, but like, even with a condom, I feel like that. Like, this is Ronald Williams with a condom, not nothing in a girl, pulling out with the condom. And it's pretty much got me up out of about 90% of situations. And then I've had situations with other girls where it's like, they was, you know, I thought they were pregnant, but turns out they were fucking another nigga and they got them pregnant. You know what I'm saying? And I think to myself, looking back at it, if I'd have only had a bisectomy, I could have just pulled that paper out and be like, listen, bitch, this shit ain't mine. God damn it. You're not about to fucking stick me with this fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, listen, ain't nothing wrong with kids. It's nothing wrong with kids. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate children. But at the same time, fuck them motherfuckers, dog, straight up. <laughs> no, I'm bullshitting. But... Like, kids are fucking expensive. My baby mama has had a son when I met her, and I still look out for him. And he, he's at a point, he's getting at an age where he's like, he does basketball games, football games. He's a real sportsy kind of kid. And every other week, he needs like $50 for this, $60 for that. Oh, I need money for my gym shorts. I need money for my sweats. I need money for my shoes. I need money for food. And I'm just like, God damn. Kids are fucking expensive. And I told my friend I just left. I'm like, listen, I'm not making no more of these motherfuckers. I'm not doing it. My, and, you know, and she's like, oh, we'll have one more. I'm like, hell no. Like, I listened to my homeboy talk. And he's like, man, I fucked the girl. Like, the girls that I fuck with for real, for real, the girls that I've really been fucking with for a long time, I fucked them raw. And I think them, that's the most preposterous thing ever to just fuck a girl. Like, I, I hear niggas talk and it's like, oh, well, I mean, I don't really be pulling. I mean, if I fuck with like that, I'm like, I ain't gonna pull out, but I mean, I've been fucking with her for a minute. I mean, I ain't pulling out, bro. I mean, it is what it is. I had an argument with a nigga, and I'll never forget this shit. With one of my own cousins from Hazard, he was like, look, man, I do my thing without a con. I'm like, how you niggas live with yourselves? Now, I admit, I ain't gonna say it's stunt like I don't do it, but that's not my life. I don't just sit there and just raw females just for the fuck of it. Like, you niggas raw females the same when you drink water. I told my friend the same thing. I'm like, listen, I don't, this ain't me. I don't do that. Like, because it sets off a fucking thing in my brain. And it's like, I get so fucking, I, I get, the last couple times I thought I got a girl pregnant, I was sleeping in a cold sweat. I couldn't, I couldn't eat right. You know what I'm saying? Until she told me like, oh, I got my period. Then it's like, oh my God. All right, cool. Like, it makes me fucking paranoid. Like, I cannot deal with it. It brings a, it's almost like coming off crack or something. Like, you know how a person, they do drugs and then they have, they relapse and they just like, their body just goes into like a shutdown. I go into one of those shutdowns every time a girl tells me that she might be pregnant for me. Cause I know I'm about to lose all my fucking shit. Like, now granted, every girl's not gonna put you on child support. Every girl's not gonna be some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in reality on ground zero to be real, it's like, you know, Every girl is not gonna just put you on child support. Every, like, and, you know, and a lot of this bullshit is based on the type of women you fuck with. I mean, that's something I've learned over time was like, you know, you can't just be fucking with straight skeezers and think they ain't gonna take you up, take you up through them. You know what I'm saying? When the baby come. You know what I'm saying? A lot of girls are living off government assistance. Like a lot of girls, that's their life. Like, okay, I'm waiting on child support. I'm waiting on motherfucking food stamps. I'm living off Medicaid. That's their whole existence. And to be honest with you, I don't want to be titled with nothing like that no more. I, I went through it once. You know what I'm saying? My daughter, my daughter will be nine next April. I am halfway, technically speaking, I am halfway through this race. And every time I get the fucking a girl out here somewhere and she starts kicking that hole, I might be pregnant shit and or my stomach start well not saying I might be pregnant, but like my stomach's starting to hurt and I'm feeling a little bit queasy. I think to myself, like, I hope to God I did not get this motherfucker pregnant. Females are so cool when you have no attachment to the motherfuckers. It's the same thing with marriage. Like, I would probably never get married again because of the shit I went through in my first one. And people tell me, oh, well, all marriage ain't going to be bad. And, you know, you can have one girl. And listen, I don't I don't live by society's rules where it's like, oh, I got to get married and settle down with one woman and just do this. Now, I'm not out here hoeing 100 miles an hour either. But I like to be, I, I feel better when I'm free to do what I want. Now, getting a bisectomy obviously doesn't negate the problems of an STD. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother conversation. But at the same time, if I had to pick between the two, if I want to deal with a curable STD, quote unquote, like 
syphilis or some shit, or gonorrhea, or have a fucking kid again, I'd probably take the gonorrhea and take the medicine after. You can get rid of an STD. Once you get a child from a motherfucker, you are stuck with that motherfucker for life. And depending on what type of woman you're dealing with, it can either be a walk in the park and she can make it easy for you. Or it can be some real bullshit. But the gist of what this whole thing is, I'm just at a point with it. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm pretty sure, I'm really thinking about it. I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna read into it for real. For real. I'm gonna really do my research on it. Because I'm tired of getting that fucking paranoid feeling from women when I think I might have nutted and what I know when I know for a fact I don't do that, but it's just like I be I be paranoid about pre cum. I've looked up pre cum. It's like a four percent chance that pre cum can get a girl pregnant. Four percent. I don't want the four percent. No, we getting all that shit off the fucking table because I don't want to live this life where it's damn. I might be you know I got another kid on the way and you know what I'm saying like my dad wants me to make another one, but yo fuck that shit. I'm not. Only way I'm making another kid is if the motherfuckers paid for in advance. Other than that, fuck the motherfucking kids. I ain't doing that shit. But this has been Run Out Wins from Outlet Podcast, man. Uh, this probably might be a three-part series or two-part series. I'm going to blog it. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how I feel day-to-day by this shit, man. But y'all like, share, and subscribe to the motherfucking illest alive, goddammit.